What's up, y'all? It's your boy Titus88 here, bringing you all another season commentary. And ah, uh, that's right. I'm going ahead and putting a little bit of salt, black pepper, and just a dash of paprika on this commentary right here, just giving it the best blend ever. And that's right. I am bringing the third episode of season three story Tom. I know you've all been waiting for it, so here it is, setting it right on the table, along with the silverware, and. In this commentary, this is pretty much a story that appeals to my elementary school lifetime, my Ellis elementary school adventures, and at least that age group. So my mom was bus driver, and about the time the buses came for my house, that was way after my mom needed to go to work. So my mom would just drop my sister and I off since we went to the same school over our grandma's house and my mom's sister was pretty much in the same situation with her kids which would be my cousins she had to go to work before their buses would come to their house so she would just drop her sons and daughters off over grandma's house as well and we would just take the bus bus that went by our grandma's house so Pretty much before before school started and the bus came, we would all be just chilling at Grandma's house, having all the nice, delicious meals, breakfasts in the morning. I don't know why Frosted Flakes and the oatmeal, maple brown and sugar was all, always my favorite. I, I don't know why, because a lot of kids didn't, that was not their favorite cereal. They were always into those colorful cereals, the Fruit Loopies and the apple jack attacks and all that good stuff and no no i don't haven't heard of that many kids liking maple brown and sugar oatmeal everybody went to peaches and cream strawberries and cream and all that stuff but I, some reason i just like those type of cereals and those type of oatmeals but anyway it would be the same situation afterwards after school ended, our bus would drop us off at our grandma's house and we would all just be waiting at our grandma's house until both my parents and my cousin's parents picked them up from our grandma's house and we would just be chilling. But I remember this one specific day that stood out. <laughs> I feel so bad for this. We were finished with school. Bus took us all home. And my cousin, Javon, who's nearest to me in age, he's one year older than me. We pretty much had the closest relationship, even though it was a mixture of all the cousins and my sister. My cousin, Javon, and I had the close relationship uh, as family. And we always loved hanging out, joking with each other. And just <laughs> if we got in trouble, got in trouble together and all that stuff. And I remember one specific day, my grandma, who was just so keen to us, offered us food as usual. Like in the mornings, as I said before, I would always eat oatmeal and cereal. But in the afternoons, most of the time I would eat Chef Boy RD raviolis. Oh my gosh, the mugs are fire with the beef inside. Come on now. Or popcorn. Gotta, gotta have that fondness for popcorn. And the thing is, since I was small, my grandma didn't figure I could eat one popcorn by myself, a whole bag. So I would have to show my cousin. And so we're watching Yu-Gi-Oh! The popcorn is finished being popped. Our grandma brings out the popcorn. She's like, share, make sure you all share. Don't go overboard with the popcorn, eating too fast and everything like that. So me... I take my grandma's advice, I listen to her. So I'm eating the popcorn diligently. I'm getting popcorn too. Wait about 10 seconds in between before grabbing another handful. Now my cousin, he's one of the fastest eaters ever. He's just going straight at it. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. So I'm like, dude, slow down. And I keep looking at his hand and he just does not take his time. And I warned him once and then he kept eating fast. Second time he grabbed a handful, I'm like, dude, slow down. And then the third time he grabbed a handful, and I, this is what happened. I just took his hand, and I bit his hand. I was childish at the time. You got to remember, we're in elementary school. But that is wrong. I just took my cousin's hand and bit it. 
and he started crawling and uh he didn't eat fast after that so this has been your boy t thizzle 88